Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to the Self-Help Comedy Hour. We unite the world's, we're the world's first self-help variety show. We unite the world of self-help and the world of entertainment. Tonight is no exception. We've got a great show planned for you. We have a great conversation with two very talented people who happen to be married. Uh, <clears throat> the first is, was a regular on Mad TV for many years and is one of the best improvisers in the world, comedy improvisers, great actress, tremendous talent, and a lot of fun to be around. Uh, and right now she's on Parks and Recreation. She's been in The Office. She's been in The 40-Year-Old Virgin. She's been in a million shows. Uh, Mo Collins. So we're going to talk to Mo, and we're also going to talk to Mo, uh, newly married to uh, a gentleman who uh, has been on a lot of drama, uh, television and film, also a great actor, voiceover actor, and uh, has been was a regular on The King of Queens and many other films, many other shows, Alex Scooby. So we're going to talk to Mo Collins and Alex Scooby. They're married, and they're here together. And, uh, you know, there's a lot to talk about. I don't want to go on with it. I'm going to get right to the, uh, right to the interview, actually. But... Um, I have a hard time being present, and this has never been evidenced in a greater way than the fact that Sunday night is going to be the finale of Breaking Bad, and I'm up to the end of season two, and that's a big problem, because I was invited to see the finale at someone's house, and I really want to see it, but I'm not there yet because I don't want to know the end before I know what the other four years are about. So that really is emblematic of the story of my life. I don't, I can't be where I am, and I don't want to get to the end. So that really is what tonight's show is all about for me, and it will make sense as you listen to the interview and what the incredible journey of... Uh, of Mo Collins and, and Alex Scooby right here on the Self-Help Comedy Hour with Ed Krasnick. Sit back, relax, listen, enjoy. Uh, I think, though, before we go to the actual interview, we always have a song that we'd like to play, and tonight is no exception. Because these two people met um, dating, uh, this is a great sort of a date song. It's an old-school date song, and it's from a terrific movie called Flirting, uh, with Noah Taylor, if you ever get a chance, look up the title "Flirting." It's a great movie. It's actually got Nicole, a young Nicole Kidman in it, and Noah Taylor, Australian movie. But the song <clears throat> is called, um, I think it's called "With a Girl Like You," and let's listen to it right now. The song is "With a Girl Like You," and then we'll be back with Mo Collins and Alex Scooby. This is really something because I don't think I've seen you since the night that you were on my show. I really don't think Man, I've seen it. That was like six years ago. <laughs> That's it when was. we first got together. That was like three plus years ago. I know. It wow. Was a long time ago. I, I yeah. haven't seen you. We've communicated, but I haven't yeah. seen you. That's two years. I know. Yeah, that's because, two years. Because that night yeah. was, uh, was really something. It was. Yeah. I was there. I was in the audience. You were there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was yeah. something else. Yeah, it was. And, and I, I tell you, um, well, I should say, I'm, I'm sitting with Two great, two terrific actors. Okay. Is that true? <laughs> Until the they get here, I'll the be talking. <laughs> Until they get here. <laughs> Enter no, you guys are amazing. Oh, well, you're thank terrific you. actors, Thanks. and you, and you both. I agree. Have, hey, I agree. Well, sure. Yeah, you're right. And you both have a range of things that that you do. You're mm -hmm. both really different, and but but you found each other. I yes, know. we did on the internet. You didn't find like each other. On yes, we did. Yes, we did. I, I you know, yeah. okay. She, yeah, it was on. We signed up for this website the same day. Yeah, she, it was nerve.com, right? And Which, I was out let of. Me, the, let me clarify for people. We're married uh, now, so she can Apparently, do this. there's a dirty nerve.com profile as well. That was not. The, no, that was we not this. There's no. two. We were on the good, decent one. But I got to tell my side of it real quick. I was out the night before at this bar on Melrose, and one of my buddies was like, oh, you got to go to match.com or something and this other guy that I'm, I'm friends with was like he pulls me aside he's like dude don't go on match.com go to nerve.com I'm like I've never even heard of that 
What the hell is that? I've never heard of it. No, me neither. Yeah, I don't think it exists so, anymore. So I went to sign up and I was I was all like nervous and weird. I felt like I was like, this is weird. I've never done this before. Mm. Like online dating. Yeah. Signed up. Like next day. I hot listed them. She hot listed me. Yeah, I went Didn't on, even know what that meant. Yeah, I was like, oh, there's a wink and a hot list. A, a, <laughs> All right. A okay. girlfriend that I, you know, respect told me about this site. She said there's decent people on there. I half-assed a profile. It was really, it was just Now, like, what do you do? What's the half-assed, half-assed profile? Half-assed was just sort of, look, you know, life's a roller coaster. Sometimes I'm up, sometimes <laughs> I'm down. You want to take a ride? You know, it was a good respond. ride. My picture, you can't even, you know, most people Real have, good ride. Most ladies have, like, their... their, their, their Tits up, and they're you know the photo from you had above. Your tits up. No, I didn't. I was in the distance with a, a hat on, so you couldn't even see I had long hair, and I was fishing. So <laughs> that's right. I like the fishing and picture, I had though. I heart life T-shirt on. <laughs> oh boy! Yeah. Wow. Who wants to, who's gonna click on that picture? I, I thought the great. sexiest part was your bum knee. I, I, and my bum knee was out. My big scar on my knee. Yeah, that was my picture. You couldn't see my face. She showed it all. Yeah. Mine was an ast- I was I was a, some Ass friend traps. like superimposed me into an astronaut uh, helmet. Yeah, and that was one of my main pictures. Now what? Yeah. So 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 she digs astronauts. What is it now? So what? So what happened? Like how did how did this? It's like it, I look at you, and the last thing in the world I think is they went on. They met on an internet dating site. Yeah. Well, That's the funniest how they part met. is we knew people, mutual people, mutual people, and made we, it okay. Yeah, like we had I, friends. Like our, one mutual friend was. Um, Stone Street. Eric Stone Street. Eric Stone Street. He's on Modern Family. He's on Modern Family now, oh, yeah. Sure, but sure, sure. he was one of our mutual friends, and I had known him for years, and she had known him through her cousin, Jerry. And, uh, and we couldn't imagine, like, when we first, we, our first date was at, like, Cat and the Fiddle. Sure. And I was so nervous. I did, like, three shots before she got there. I yeah, tried I to hide that. it. I couldn't. And then... Um, it was a week after I had hot listed him. We had yes. never talked on the phone. Nope. You know, so I, what I didn't know is this crazy, awesome, sexy voice came with it. Wow. You know, that you was just, a shocker. See that? You had a picture. You see that? You didn't know a voice. Right. He was in an astronaut You outfit. see that? You thought you were dating Buzz <laughs> Aldrin. You didn't know who it was. <laughs> I just Maybe he's he, been to the moon. I just thought he could take me to the moon. Right? There you go. Um, no, there were just, he had interesting pictures. His profile was interesting. And so I, I, like I said, they had a little, you know, they all have their little things like like on FB. This was hot list. So he got my hot list. So he emailed me back and. We couple, pretty quickly found out that we were both exchanges. actors and stuff and, and whatever. I remember the first time I, I was talking to my sister. This is after we had um, gone out a couple times or whatever. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm dating this girl. She's great. I, I, she's so awesome. And she's like, oh, yeah, what's her name? I said, her name's Mo. And she's like, Mo, I'm like Mo Collins. My sister goes, oh, my God. She was Stewart's mom on Mad TV. And I'm like, because I never really watched Mad TV. I just, I just didn't. My sister was like a huge fan <laughs> And I'm like, his honesty really? is part of the reason why you love him. And I'm like, really? <laughs> and then, and then, of course, then of course, she just had to show me all her YouTube videos. No, no, <laughs> no. That I did is not. so. That is so but yeah. funny. But it does. It's just. It's like, you know, where were you in your life? Where were you in your life where you meet? Not, like I that. certainly wasn't out at the bars where I was going to meet somebody. Do you know what I mean? And nobody, when I was out, they were intimidated by me, and uh, that. So it was pretty. You know, we were. Well, I was divorced for a while. He was. I was. I was g- getting divorced, a, and uh, yeah. you know, I've been separated for a while, and and uh, you know, I got three kids on the that live on the East Coast. Which and I have a kinda, son, and she's got a son. So uh, we're parents trying to find somebody. But had we but, met younger or earlier, it wouldn't have worked. Would not have worked. Would not no. have worked. But how, But what? What emotionally makes you ready? Like, why are you emotionally ready at that point and not... Your heart's open at that point. You know, I mean, it's just like, you just, you know what you don't want. There it is. That's what it is. It's like, my, I was married, uh, she was married, and I guess that learning, the learning curve there was that I know what I don't want. And a story. Yeah. So that's what makes you ready. Because, you know, you see red flags, you know, if you start dating yeah. and you're like, whoa, we no, have, no, no, that's what I don't want. You this, know what I mean? So it's... One thing about us both, too, is that we're very actually monogamous people Mm -hmm. and we also want a partner we don't want to be alone i'm old school man yeah we're we're both old school it's just uh, we both happen to be in marriages that failed but we still believe in monogamy and marriage and partner and that whole thing so it was pretty much sounds like a cult sounds like you're talking about a cult yeah like oh hell would you sign right here please Yeah. yeah oh yeah um so when we met, it was fine. It just felt real kismet, you know, because 
we when we I have saw no idea each what other that means. Uh, meant to be meant to be okay uh, good, good. we saw each other we laughed hard for 10 minutes when we met yeah because we it was uh, we already knew each other do you know what I mean it, for the thing that couldn't stop going through my brain was that's what you look like so that's what you look like wow oh my gosh that's what you look like Wow. Like the one I've been waiting for, you know, it's like, that's what you look like. And, and this is what it's going to feel like. And yeah. we just laughed for pretty wild. 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, like, we did. We laughed hard. That's and then we made cool. out at that bar, remember? That's that? pretty cool. Yeah, it kissed me at the bar. Yeah. Oh. That is pretty cool. It sounds pretty effortless. It was. It was. That was a thing. It was effortless. There That's was no a like, word oh, I gotta, you know, I, you know. Sometimes like if you're dating or something, you feel like you have to put on this mask or a facade well, just sure. for a, for a for a piece of it anyway. Sure. Just to kind of come across as someone, but it was because you know, forty, you're in your forties and you're just like, oh, whatever, man. It's like it's gonna yeah. it's gonna be good or it's not, and it's like at that point you're like, fuck it. Wow! Wow! No, it was easy, and it, it really did feel like I, I loved walking next to him and holding his hand and looking up and going, "I've been waiting to be here." Yeah. You know, so great. And you know, like when you're in your twenties, you're like, "Oh so my god, great. I gotta shave my balls before I go because oh. what if?" <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not that I ever he did that. Have to I never shave did his that. Balls with this lady, <laughs> and when I say lady, what I mean is <laughs> I don't shave my balls either. Well, this is a great commonality to have, and I want to explain something to you. This is a gar- we're, we're over a garage, and we have a segment called "Who's Coming In." Okay. And what it is is the garage will open, a celebrity will go in, and then the door will close again, Sweet. and we don't know who it is, and the audience at home has to guess. All right. All right. I have the clicker in my pants, and okay. so I, I do things, and then the garage opens. So that's the clicker in your pants. Okay. No? Okay. I'm happy to see it. That's what it is. No, I, but, but so let me apologize for that. Uh, it will be the first of many apologies. Uh, in fact, I have an apology policy that I will put down, that I will sign with my lawyer. Pr- no, all right. Um, anyway, uh, so... But your life, but now we have this meeting, and then everything is effortless, mm-hmm. and then we get into something else. And then something else happens. It's not oh, yeah. effortless. You're right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so now we get this effortless beginning, mm-hmm. Yes. and now there's something that's not effortless that comes up. And what I'm going to do, if it's, okay, if it's okay, and if it's not, we won't do it, but I want, I'm going to play a clip for the listeners. Oh, sure, yeah. And the clip is going to be... We're going to go back to the theater from a couple of years ago. Yeah. And the night that you made an announcement. Right. So we'll go back. We'll play this clip for you at home. Listen to this clip. This is, this is Mo Collins on a show that we did a long time ago uh, called Acting Out. And uh, Eddie Pepitone is there, Taylor Negron, Moon Zappa, and a great therapist uh, named Mickey Solomon. And there's an audience there. And this is what happened. What else is creating the good feeling in you? You know, I've had uh, something enter in that has put perspective on everything. So Can you share it? Well, um, I guess so. I will. <laughs> this is very new. And so it's, I, I, I keep wanting to put this into third person. But uh, I have cancer. And so <laughs> this is new. And it's perspective, it's new. It's been the last month of tests and, you know, being poked and prodded and some shit figured out. But uh, <laughs> we got it figured out. We know what it is now. I have revealed something really important. I also hear you say that you don't want to make it too real, that somehow or other, is that correct? Did I well, hear you correctly? I, yeah, it's like I'm, I'm keeping it in the day of just sort of like, well, where do I go? What do I do today? Mm-hmm. It's all you can do is a lot of that. <laughs> 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 and by the way, I don't recommend farting in an MRI. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a very, it's, it's tight. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a man with headphones. It stays there, and they have headphones. Yeah. <laughs> so if your cancer was somehow located here, right this minute, what do you want to say to it? Um, you're not the boss of me. Uh, <laughs> um, you're a son of a bitch. You're a piece of fucking putty. And um, 
as soon as we do some things, we're going to come in, going to pull you out, going to turn you into a punching bag. That's... <laughs> Now, now, do we do we dare to have you reverse roles with the cancer and see what the cancer says back, or should we leave it alone? I really want to leave this up to you. Well, but I can make it say what I want it to say. Anything, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. We You're make? a son of a bitch, and I'm going to turn you into putty. I know. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no meaning. I'm sorry I came into your space. I'm just going to get out of here as soon as I can because you are so much better than me. I'm just going to find myself in a toilet somewhere and be gone. <laughs> I keep thinking that you've shown up for some purpose. What fucking purpose did you, do you have in coming? Well, because you keep laying there like a lazy ass. Why don't you just get off your ass and do something with your life? You wanted something to do, I gave you something to do, so don't completely discredit me. Well, I want you to know that uh, since you showed up, I've been doing more than I've ever done in my life, and what I'm doing is actually real. It beats the hell out of anything I was doing before, so thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> is cancer ever that sweet? <laughs> you're, you're wonderful. You know, that's the best portrayal of cancer I've ever seen in my life. I'm not I was going to say, the nominee a... for tumor. <laughs> but I'm sorry, but imagine Sally Field in that. <laughs> they hate me. They really hate me. <laughs> Mo Collins, everybody. Can I just say... I... Thank you so much. Okay, so, so that happened that night. Yes, it did. Now, uh, how did this whole thing affect your relationship? Because you're still building a relationship at this point. Yeah, well, I mean, that's, uh, we really, we highly recommend that for anybody that's considering marriage. Yeah. Uh, no, truly, it's like, uh, you know, all the, we, it's, it's like we went to the end of our marriage at the beginning. Right. In, in a lot of ways. The things that many, you know, older couples or whatever, like they, they eventually come to where one is compromised with their health. Right. Uh, and so you really see what the other person, we, you see what both people are really about. Mm -hmm. Really about. Really about. Really <clears throat> but about. Again, but again, you see it at a time when you're still building a relationship. Yeah, you know, it was scary because uh, we were, this was, that was just shy of a year of being together, you know? So, yeah, we had 10 months of uh, bliss, and then <laughs> this news comes in, and it's like, well, I gotta he, say, he could have ran. I just, I just had buried my mother from cancer. And I had left Los Angeles to go, um, I was, I was basically living with her, taking care of her, because she was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Wow. She was 59. Wow. And uh, so she had, so, okay, let's cut to that. That was miserable, horrible. She, 11 weeks, she died from diagnosis, then she died. And she was young. So then that happens, you know, I go through a year of just, uh, because she was like one of my best friends, it was my mother, you know what I mean? Of course. And, uh, yeah, they were close. Real close. And then so that all happens, I'm out of my marriage now, I come out, I meet her relatively in a short period of time, um, and uh, we're together 10 months, and then she gets the big C. Right. And I gotta tell you, on my end, <laughs> I was like, <clears throat> I give people cancer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, as sick as that sounds, I was like, I give people cancer. This yeah. thought enters your mind. Well, it did. I mean, you know, I mean, and, and I played around with it for for a couple of weeks. Like, oh my god, like, I mean, this is horrible, you know. But yeah. it was a, it was a nightmare because psychologically, and then and then going through what we had to go through with the tests, and then setting up the surgery, and then the the, the chemo, and all that stuff. That was that was crazy. Yeah, man. but you 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 know the, the entire way, you know, you just. All he kept saying is, I'm with you, you know, and he really went and proved that a week before surgery, he, you know, s scared the crap out of me. He came to the bedside early one morning and I thought something was wrong, you know, and s so many things had been going wrong. I was, that I was like, I was oh God, so what now? What now? He's sitting there. He was shaking. 
I'm like, oh lord, he's gonna he's gonna leave me. What is this? What's happening? He's gonna go, you know, move back east coast. What's happening? And he proposed to me. <laughs> Switcheroo! Look Switcheroo. what I did. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he was nervous because he was proposing to me. No, I was. Oh yeah. You know which. Because the mean, last time I did that, it didn't work out so well. Yeah. With my but I mean, <laughs> talk about. But this this is a week before going into a surgery where, uh, there were a lot of questions that weren't going to be answered until the surgery. Right. Until they were in, until I was gutted. You didn't know. We, we didn't know what I was no, going we to. Had no, whole clue. range of stuff. Right? Whole range of yeah. Of it could have been. It could have been. Yeah, and been and a week before that, he says, "I'm." I'm so in, I'm so with you that you are going to wear this ring and this is proof and this is happening. Like, this is really happening. And th- this, this is also life extending beyond this, this, this occurrence. Right. You know, it's, I mean, you know. That's a very, uh, it's a very unusual story is what that is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I know that this happens, but <clears throat> it's not the usual thing. No, it's no. not. No, yeah. no, no. So now, so now, okay. So, so you're married. Recently got married. I know we got married. Three June, months, yeah, almost yeah, three months. Yeah. June twenty second. Yep. Three months, and but you've been, you know, you've been. It seems it sounds like you've been together ever since you met. Yeah, in three a way. and a half years. Yeah. It's, I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's not. It's not. It's not a. But you were like. We're always that was together. It. That yeah, we're it. always yeah, together. It is. We are always. I mean, literally, together. always literally. together. So you love each other. Literally, <laughs> always together. We don't. We don't like to be apart at all. We don't. I understand. We really don't. We don't like to well, be that's apart. Well, that's great. Yeah. If he goes to an audition, I get. You know, we get like, yeah. sad. We can't wait to see each other again. And if I book the Hawaii gig, it's trouble. Ten days in Honolulu. Well, you talk to your people and get your little wifey with you. <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah. what you do. Wow. <laughs> in wow. My book. Have you yeah. read my book? <laughs> Get me with you. Yeah, I don't have to read your book. You tell me your book. Yeah, that's how it goes. You read a chapter to me every night, honey. It's, not, oh, no, it's, a, it's, it's a book. It's not a book on tape, even. No, the book is right there. It's, right it's an there. open book. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, well, I. So okay. So so all of this all of this stuff is is going on now. Now, how do you how do you balance the marriage, the career, how you take care of yourself? And the fact that you really do like to be be together, what happens when you need to be apart or can't be apart, or how do you how do you navigate those things? How do you tell each other what you need? I assume that after going through cancer together, everything else is kind of gravyish. It is, but the, but we're sti- but we still love to be together. So it's like you know yeah. she's gone on a f- done a few things in Minnesota, and she was in Washington, and. And, and stuff. you've gone, like, you went for eight days and did a film. I went for eight days and did a film in Chicago and, and stuff like that. But it's just, it, it kind of sucks on one end. But on the other end, you're doing what you love to do. So you have to make that ad- adjustment. Right. Yeah, we just make sure that if, if we're going to be gone like that, that it's, it, it is important to us mm-hmm. what we're going away. We won't. It's got to make sense. It does. It has to make sense to so, what we're trying to do. So you make choices. I mean, this is not like, this is not the actor's story where, you know, if the phone rings and I'm in a cemetery, I'm yeah. running to the audition I've never now. done that. I've never done that with no. my career. Ever. Right. Like, you know, the thing is, is like, I've left LA a bunch of times to, to go out to the East Coast. Like, I can't stand it here. Right. You know, for a lot of, a lot of, a lot of Los Angeles, I, I hate yeah, that's a sure. strong word, but I don't like it. Right. And the business end of it, it's like mm-hmm. when I'm working and I'm happy, it's a good business. Right. But even then, there's traffic, so I don't know. Love the show, hate the biz. <laughs> yeah, 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 love yeah. the show, hate the biz. Well, sure. You know, when you, after everything we've gone through in the past couple of years, it really, you really learn uh, uh, that quality of life is very important, and and so you make choices thusly. You know, oh. it's like uh, I just sort of say, big fun or big money. You know, yeah, big fun or exactly. big money. Those are my two. If they don't, if it doesn't fit into the criteria, you'll. <clears throat> I'm most likely, you know, or with Hawaii. him or traveling, you know, doing our stuff, you know, or I'm in the studio painting or we're off on our little road trip or. Mm-hmm. Good to know. Really, really yeah. very clear boundaries. Really yeah. good to know. Two yeah. two areas. It's either this or it's this. That's very yeah. simple. Big money, big fun. I don't have to say yes to everything because. I, I also realize it's very important for me not to stress myself out. Yes. You it's know, part of taking care of yourself. It's, yeah. it's, it's key. Well, that should be for everyone, too. I mean, yeah. You know, everyone. For everyone. And it's like, you know, you know I still do the, this uh, 
chemo pill too daily and so I, my side effects that I you know it's like I live with this treatment now still and yep. so I'm cancer free but I live with the treatment it's like geez I may as well still have it yeah every day yeah yeah um now how long how long will you be on that treatment or what is that about there's different philosophies to that some say for the rest of your life um some say you know there there's sort of a it be, because gist cancer is new ish it's newly diagnosed in a honestly more since 2001 that's new and uh so they're still learning about it. So right, what they're kind of saying now is three years post-op, um, if dep there's all these variables though, all these variables. If you are low risk recurrence and there's all kinds of chemical, mathematical, you know, equations that you have to match up for that. Now I, I personally kind of feel that uh, the three years that I, I do want to go off of it because I want to let my body rebuild itself. Hmm? Because that drug just, I mean, you know, you hard. keep taking it, it, it takes a toll on your body. Oh, it's hard. It's a toxin, you know? yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so hard. I know. But so. they say without it, there's a 90% chance of recurrence. Wow. No, that's... Well, that's what not, your doctor said. But that's wrong. But mm -hmm. that's what your because doctor I, said I, at UCLA. I know it, but they were wrong. Okay. <laughs> they, Sometimes they're wrong. They were wrong. Sometimes they're wrong. Right? Uh, yeah. No, yeah. they were going off of an old... Uh, cheat off of that ba based on like seven patients no but that was in the first that was in the first three years I'm not saying exactly, for life yeah. I'm saying in the right. first three years of taking the drug uh, then if, if you don't oh, take yes, it yes. then the recurrence is 90 percent but after three years, after three years it's then it's different, it's different. It, it lowers it goes well down. now now okay so this so taking care of yourself can you can you feel are there warning signs like now I'm getting stressed out I have to do something are there techniques are there things that you do every day that allow you to be healthier exercise yeah exercise you know uh gotten into some blending and juicing and yeah, yeah. i mean cripes i know so much about vitamins and their their action what they do you know but are you a person that sits there where you meditate is it visual you don't do meditate, that stuff i i've yeah, I'll try. You'll try it. I will try, but that's, I always uh, feel like I'm doing it wrong. Right. <laughs> I do. I do. That's I, how I feel. I don't feel good at it when I'm doing it. Um, you know, like, and so I judge myself when I'm meditating. Which, which is the worst thing you can possibly do. the worst thing do. I can do. Yeah. So here's my, my meditation is painting. Because when I mm -hmm. paint, this is the most wonderful thing, is when I paint, I can't think of anything else other than what is happening between my hand, the canvas, the color, whatever is transpiring between my, the, the relationship going on between the, the canvas and, and me, hmm. my, my brain. MoCollinsArt.com. Yes. Oh, thanks. <laughs> is that, yeah. So you're yeah. paint, you're, you're doing a lot of painting. A lot. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Well, this is my first love. You know, I thought I was going to grow up and be an artist and have like a long, great ponytail. Wow. By now. Wow. Well, you know, well, this is, long, like, yeah, like I, yeah, I wanted to wear a big flowing white men's shirt in my studio with my, you know, Georgia O'Keeffe braid. I don't know. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's great. So that yeah, was before, wow. that that's, was even before, that was, great. aren't you glad I don't Fantastic. look <laughs> That was before acting? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So I've come back around to it um, as a necessity. You know, it, it f does two things. It keeps me from thinking about, you know my my cancer which i get so tired of thinking like but you can't help it you can't help it once you've been diagnosed with cancer you can't help but think about it you just can't help it right. oh is it coming back is it not is that it what was that you know i never thought about my body before like that i i wouldn't have even thought that lump was anything he made me go in i right. yeah. my body it's like i i i, I was humpty like i just could rebuild myself no matter what you know i right. wrecked myself and i'd be up the next day right um but this this is different so you so live with it i you live, live with, with it. it and i don't want to so that's an escape because i can't think about it in there and i also can't think about how my career is failing <laughs> do you know what I'm, i really can't but i'm being creative so it's fulfilling that too it's like 
you know, screw Hollywood. I'm a creative person, and I'm going to create come hell or high water. Right. I'm not going to wait for you to call. You're not calling. You know, I go out and I do things, I improv and uh, whatever. I'm here tonight. You know, like, I'm a creative person. I'm not going to, this is what I do. So right. I just find it. And, and uh, yeah, so there's a, fl- there's a flow to it, and it's not like when I'm, it, it doesn't look a certain way. It's not like, cre- being creative is not only one thing. Yeah. It's yeah. how you live. It is it's how, how you live. live. Yeah. yeah. And we both, do we also have fun days to, like, tell about the, uh, our, our board days of unemployment, the one, the building day. Tell about the building day. What building day? When you built the bar. Oh, I built the bar. Oh, <laughs> we had scrap wood in the backyard, and I was so bored that I built a bar. But it's the most the amazing house. bar you've ever seen. Decided to build a bar. But you can't so leave built the house. A bar. You couldn't go to. You the couldn't leave the house. Yeah. There was simply you couldn't go to a, you know a store and buy wood. You couldn't go buy nails. Whatever it was had to be what was at the house. Whatever you could. Yeah. Thank God we had Found all the tools objects. and like nails a challenge and everything show. else that we needed. Yes. It's like a yeah. reality show. But it, it was it was a re it was a reality show. Yeah. But a real reality show. But a real one. But there unscripted. Too, just yeah. the need to be purposeful. Yeah. And creative and productive. Yeah. Like we're. We're good together that way. Like we, I, I think that's one way we're and why we're together too. Is well, we're a good team. We're we a good team. Say it. I mean, you don't have to beat around the bush. <laughs> we, yeah, we find stuff just to say do. It. Be, yeah, you know, in yeah. this yeah. crazy journey. But now, now, uh, will you help each other with uh, with acting stuff? Like, will you be she doing was a reading script lines with me this morning? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I had a I had a, a a really great audition today, and I, and I, I rocked it, man, and I. I want to book it because it's a nice fat role. Yeah. Never seen the series Hawaii Five O, but it films in Honolulu and it's a guest lead. And oh, that's great! It's a great. Uh, I like the detective stuff and yeah, and that's uh, what it did, is. Yeah. So. But when you go in now for auditions, yeah. because there's this a little bit of a different perspective on it because yeah. of the experiences that you've had together. Well, you yeah. really don't. You know, they say you don't. I don't know if you were the well, kind of grounded. actor who didn't care before. Well, I've, you but know, now. The, but the whole thing is, it's, it's funny. It's like I was going through this today. I was, you know, I had to get rid of my agents. I, I uh, actually let go of, of an agent that I had for about six years. Last who, week. Last week. This is on last Thursday. Hmm. Who I, I really like liked her and stuff, but it wasn't working. I wasn't getting what I deserve. Right. Which it, is opportunity. Sure. So. I, I do that, and within like a couple hours, my old manager, who I'm still dear friends with, calls me and goes, remember that agent from a uh, place we were at years ago? I said, yeah. He goes, well, he's looking for you. He's now a manager at uh, Bohemia. And I'm like, really? And he's like, yeah. He's like, do you mind if he calls you? I said, no. So he called me, and boom, I went over there, had a meeting. They were great, solid, hungry hungry mm. they got to be hungry your mm-hmm. reps have to be hungry mm-hmm. within within uh, two hours of signing with them i'm auditioning Just i mean boom, i got boom, this boom. and then uh friday i'm going in for another series that's yeah. uh it'd be a good part yeah, now are you good are you good auditioners do you guys audition I, I well i hate i hate auditioning um until i'm auditioning so the whole process what am i gonna wear i gotta learn these lines i'm not even getting bo- i haven't even painful. booked it but like, it's painful, painful. Get there. You're in a you're in a lobby with all these other actors, and you're looking at them, going, "Ah, he could do it. He could do it." That I got to keep telling myself that I'm the right choice. So it's like that until I get in the room and I start. Then I realize this is why I'm here, because now, that's my only chance to act, is to audition, unless you know, unless I'm working. Now you're in the room. Do you do you have? Are you one of those people who goes in and it's like you're gregarious and you're outgoing? Or are you like totally in the part and it's just hello? When do we start? Well, today was because I, I, people of all different ranges. It depends, man. I'm I'm all over the board because it's like you know, is it a drama? Am I walking into a room with ten producers and they're not looking at me and they're just kind of waiting for me to start? Then no, nah, I'm not going to give them that. Right. Because why? You know, they're not. Right. So I'll just sink in and go. Right. But if they want to talk and stuff, yeah, it could be fun and whatever. I mean, I, I had what couple three scenes today that I auditioned. After the first one. The casting director turns over the page and she looks and she goes, oh my God, look at all these lines I have to read. I'm like, you? I'm like, I'm over here sweating and shaking. I'm like, you know, so it's just like, I, I it's you know, reading the it's, room. It's yeah. just reading the you room. You read it. Sure. You know what I mean? And you, do you have that too, Mo? Are you, I read the well, room. You're, well, you're such a great improviser. I would imagine that you just yeah, have it, that. If, if it's allowed. Yeah. You know, um, if, if it calls for it, by all means, I, I look for signs of that because that's my shoe in. 
which doesn't explain why you know I've only worked three days this year. But um, but yeah, I, I think I I think I'm a good auditioner. I'm just a victim of Hollywood circumstance right now. I think it's I think it's the I think she needs someone to push her more. I think she needs some a rep to push her more because right now it just seems just. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, she, yeah. you deserve that. Yeah, of course. All the time, no matter what's going on. How, however, people think I'm busy. Right. People that I have worked, and this is no joke, three days this year. Yeah, it, that, it's almost October. Yeah, that's just last I, year. I don't know what that. Is. No, that's crazy. Three days on no, twice on camera last year. This is yeah, but it's going to turn around. Time. I mean, it's going to turn around. You, but it you will, have to it make absolutely will. But I think yeah. so. Something's I, not going right. Also, though, I <laughs> think I think I think you write your own material. I think you do your own material and film it. That's what I. I mean, I'm just a crazy guy. But no, and that is and that's, so absolutely it's a viable true. option. And then it comes back to it once is. again. It's it's like I'm tired. Right. Do you know what I mean? I'm 48. I have written a bunch of stuff. I did it. It didn't do anything. Uh, and I'm 48, and I'm on this medicine, and I'm fucking tired. Yeah. It's like at this point, you and just I want to audition somebody, and work. I just want to work. You don't want to have to sit down and think yeah. about what you're going to do and what I'll you should. Try, but it's it's so much easier well, said than done. Well, at somebody, this point. somebody, it's it's somebody that you know. It's somebody that's in your sphere. It's somebody that you know. And it's like no more material. You have all the material you need. You oh have everything gosh. you need. But yeah. it's just they have to they have to surround you with whatever you need and let yes. you do what no, you that need is, to do. If yeah. I can, because I can improvise twenty four hours a day. What I cannot do apparently is sit my ass down at a, and learn a program on a computer. Computers and all of that are not my place. Right. Uh, I'm just like this whirling dervish of creativity. Like I like to be like that, and somebody else could write it down for me. Right. Just follow me with a tape recorder. Right. You know, just give me a topic, have me tell a story, whatever. And the information comes, and then somebody just then structure it into. That's what I need. There are people that do that. Where are they? I Ed? know them. <laughs> I know them. I'm you not see, kidding. There are people. Know, there are people that do that. I've had a show yeah, registered no, I, I, at the Writers Guild for about five years now right called mofo right you know and it's like just waiting okay it's so funny well, you guys are talking about this because my mindset is so different mine is this i'm just gonna go book jobs <laughs> you know what i mean in, in my thing because i'm not an improviser i mean i did it in chicago for a couple of years years ago and it's just i like the script i like the, i like i like drama I, I like doing comedy don't get me wrong but right I like drama. so it's like I'm not going to go out and write a drama and then shoot it because it's not, you know, internet's all about comedy and stuff. It's all about, you know, sketches and, and, and uh, you know, kind of yeah. slapsticky. We you talked know, about cruise. this the other day. Yeah. You just want them to give you this. Yeah, I just, I just want to go like, out and, and rock it and I book wanna it. I want to be and, on a show and be a participant of the ideas. Right. I, I like that. Mm. Like, I, I love contributing ideas and char- or character or whatever, you know. Yeah. That's where I feel good. I want to be part of that TV family again. I love that. Yeah. Well, you're 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 very good at it, and and you that's kind of where you belong. Yeah. Part of that. I know. That's that's kind of where you belong. But but um, there really there really are people who do these things, and I know some of them, and I'll yeah. introduce you to them. Sure. There really are people who yeah. literally help you. You talk, they shoot and yeah. write. Yeah. You talk, they shoot and all. And they write it. Yeah. Wow, that's seriously, great. I know I know somebody who does this it's every like a day. Magic trick. <laughs> well, it's yeah. it's it's good for her and it's good for you. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, I mean, but this this kind of thing because, you know, with the additional ex- life experience that you've had. Yeah. I mean, if you're tired, and a camera's rolling, you you'd be tired. You know it, what I mean? No, you, exactly. Be it's tired. Like, exactly. Yeah. I, I, because don't be don't be different. It's very true. It's like I. You know, because I did Parks and Rec last week, and I had two hours of sleep. You know, I went to bed at ten, and I woke up at twelve fifteen. Yeah. And because I had an early call. Yeah. And I just never got back to sleep because I have insomnia too. Right. Another side effect. But but it being tired does not stop me from producing. Sure. It it just uh, ideas 
it, it comes. Like, I can, again, like, I can act no matter how tired I am. Right. It's, it's it, for me, it is sitting and down and having to figure out where to start. Right. And to structure and how does, how, where do you put the paragraph, all of, that's, those details put me right back to bed. Well, somebody else is going to do that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's somebody you know, else's. That's not your job. Yeah. It's not that's your job. It's not what you do. Send me to bed. Not what you do. It will. It's not. I mean, it's yeah. not. It, there, other people do that. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't yeah. have to do that. I mean, really, whether it's Parks and Rec or yeah. something that's created in a different way, that's not what you do. Because yeah. I also get fueled and energy from creating too. If it's in the way that I know how, like when I go and paint for, you know, four hours or whatever, I. I'm buzzing. Yeah. Same way like you'd be after doing, you know, an hour-long uh, stand-up set. Sure. You're buzzing. Sure. You're pumped. You know, when you find out how a lot of different people create, it's yeah. very shocking because you think that you're wrong all the time. You think that you yeah. think that you're you think that there is a there's a rule book yeah. and yes. there's a way to do this. Yeah. yeah. And this is how you do it. Yeah. When I heard Albert Brooks say that the way he writes a movie is that he does all the characters and does it into a tape recorder. And then he ha- and then he hands the tape to somebody. Really? Are you serious? That's how he does it. Now he might he might work with the script wow. after it's written. But he doesn't you. sit at a at a keyboard. Let me ask yeah. you something. Else. Interesting. Yeah. This has been rolling it's a around performer. in my head. Wow. Is this what people do to write books too? Is this how everybody now is writing a book? How is it everyone is an author now? I know. A lot of people are authors now, and a lot of people have... You, you, you know, whether, however you do it, there are people who sit... Look, I know a guy who, who he's happy to sit in a room and sit at the keyboard, yeah. and he's good at it. And that's what he does. Wow. That's how he creates. Wow. He, now, look, Woody, look, here's Woody Allen. Woody Allen, is there anybody who is more in their head or has a more screwed up yeah. life, right. sure. life than yeah. Woody Allen? Or a more clear creative life. His creative yeah. life is completely clear. It's yeah. clear because he knows how he works and he reproduces that process every day yeah. and he's happy to do it. But his personal life may be a little different. Horrible. You know. Crazy. But he's not in his own way in the creative process. Yeah. Right. And he knows how he works and he's happy to do that. Yeah. The same simplicity that you have with your it's either gotta be fun or money. <laughs> Is yeah. the same simplicity with this is how I create and this is how I work. This is my pro- is, this is what I do. Same way, yeah. Same same clarity. <laughs> same clarity. Yeah. And it's yeah. in it's in you already. You you know how it is. Oh my gosh. You know how it is. Yeah. And the, 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 the creating is easy for me. You all the other stuff is like not important. It's like that that's those are details. The and details you, are. Rough Other for this somebody thing. else does the details. That's <laughs> yeah. what it is. No, it is. Great. It's the details. S- for some, me, isn't some, it? Somebody yeah. else does it. Somebody else films it. Somebody else writes it down. Yeah. You yeah. look at it after. You participate. Yeah. Once something is put together, but, and you go, oh, but you know, somebody this can hold a camera here, this yeah. here, like, and sit I at like a keyboard. That part too. Yeah. People well, really keyboard, can do that. That's what you need—a keyboardist. People <sighs> can really, but I mean, co-co-create. People do that for all the time. Yeah. So yeah. So keyboard is your keyboardist. You need Rick Wakeman. Rick Wakeman. If Rick Wakeman comes in from Yes and he does, now look at what a reference that is. For all of you who don't know who that is, go back and look in your encyclopedias. Dust them off. Open the crate. Encyclopedias? What the hell is that? Exactly. exactly. Wiki. It's not in the thing. Just go to Wiki. Yeah, go to Wiki. Now. That's what I do with my daughter. I show her everything and, and I'm on, on my phone all the time. And I'm on, She's like, Daddy, what are you doing? I'm saying, i got to find this thing for you. And it's like a YouTube thing. It's yeah. like, look at this doctor. Look at this Martin Luther King speech. And I'll play her speech. And then I'll do something. Then I'll Joni Mitchell, Chelsea Morning. Okay, we're going to do it. I yeah. was doing this when she was four. Yeah. So she knew all the lyrics to Chelsea yeah. Morning. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> it's all in her now. She knows everything. She yeah. has a dream like Dr. King, and she knows Chelsea Morning. Oh. Now, if you're going to te- show somebody something, those are two good things to show Those them. are two great things to show Well, we're all going to put our good. kids in a shrink's office somehow. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, I know. I mean, it's, I've done my great. damage, too. Yeah, <laughs> you guys have kids. I mean, I, I understand. You know, but but uh, this creative thing is very it, it's very important because that that it's a gift. You have these gifts, and you have to. We have to allow them. We have to we have to live like we have the gifts. 
Yeah. yeah. You live like you have the gift. That's yes. I, that's all I yeah. want because that's what I think about and I'm grateful for every day. It's just like, I know, I know I have gifts. You know, I do. I'm very well aware of that. Or what does Cheryl and say? Your friend Cheryl. You are the gift. Live like you are the gift. You are right. the gift. Right. I like is, that. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. Uh, and I know that and I keep, you know, especially like with everything that happened, I keep going, well, okay. Because I, you know, I'm a believer in like follow the universe path, universal path of, you know, the river, the flow of the river. And, I, and I'm just like, well, well, I know this is true about me. I'm supposed to be doing these things. So when is that going to start <laughs> coming into my boat? You know, <laughs> when is yeah. that, when am I going to like hook that onto my paddle? Well, but, yeah. but here's you the thing I mean? though, it's but here's a, the I, thing. And I go, well, it, it's got to come soon. Sorry. No, no, no. I'm just saying it's yeah. like, well, because this goes along with what you're saying. I, you know, I was complaining for months and months and months that I wasn't auditioning and this wasn't right. A friend of ours stopped over and, and all he said, you know, he said one thing. It was like, it's your reps. It's your reps. Your representation. Yeah. Next day I was like, oh my God, he's right. Boom. I had to make a change. But you know, the universe is going to work for you and or God or whatever you want to call it, it's going to work for you. But you have to just make that one little switch, you know, there's just like one little switch, but you have to put forward that. Yeah, uh, energy, yeah. and let me, then let me ask you go something. with the flow because because that is what it, it kind of. I had okay. a change the other day. But let me that. ask you something. Three and a half years you've been with me. You think I have not opened myself up and put myself out to where these waves could catch me? No, not a, no. I totally right. agree with you, and you have. Yeah. I'm just saying about. I'm just talking about right now, though. It's. I think it has to do with with uh, you know a, a pitch here and there. Yeah. For for, for certain things, mm -hmm. you know, without being rude about your current but i'm just saying it's like you know there's there's got to be someone there who has connections and 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 and, and uh, relationships that can that can push well, that's like all you, well like you say sometimes there's a perception too like you say that <clears throat> people yeah. look at you and they think well of course she's working i've well, seen her on parks and i know she's working well yeah i did a project for uh you know adam scott who works on parks and rec he and uh paul red do these fun little things and they asked me to do one a couple weeks ago and they're like you're probably busy right and I was like this will be the second day I work this year right I didn't say that to them so if everyone else thinks you're there's busy there's a perception but you need your representation to say guess what she's not she's right a, so let's do free. something she's available you right you know what I mean right I don't care what everyone else thinks <clears throat> no absolutely you yeah. have yeah. to yeah. yeah absolutely you you need the it's you weird. need better representation yes, for sure yeah. but all the material that you have, everything that you have, Mo versus Mo, Mo, all of this stuff yeah. is useful material yeah. that can be packaged or filmed or mm -hmm. people can look at it, other people can look at it yeah. and, and help you to do something with it. Right. I mean, because it, it's, it's, it's great. Yeah. The material is great. Well, she's a comedic genius and I got to be, I got to be straight up. It's like, I can't believe she's not working regularly i mean straight up like cannot and this is not her husband talking or the man who loves i mean i'm just i'm totally coming at this from just an actor standpoint i can't believe she's not working as, as much as she should be i mean yeah. it's, it's it's almost either it's almost uh like foul smelling well there's something, there's something. <laughs> it smells like a wet shit you well, there's I mean? something. Yeah, there's, some, there's something. There's a cologne that's like no, but there's. <laughs> and it's our sponsor. It happens to be our sponsor uh, for tonight. <laughs> Formerly hot shit, now wet shit. We had the hot shit people. Hot wet shit. They were not good. We've got the wet shit people. Um, no, but I, I, I you know, it, it's, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I just, uh, yeah. I just think we we got to find other people to to to. Who do those details? That's all. Yeah. Who do those kind of things? And who are good at it? Who like it? Yeah. There are people who really are great at that stuff. Yeah. You know, some yeah. of them are directors, some of them are writer, writers, and mm. they just do that stuff. So that's that's easy to do. That's not hard to do. No. Um, you've got your, you know, you've got your you've got your life, and your painting, and this terrific marriage, and and <laughs> this is, and this is, uh, and the work is. It's gonna it's gonna be a domino thing. You'll get one thing, and there'll be a thousand things. Yeah. I mean, that's the way it's Bring gonna it. go, that's the way it's gonna go for you. I, I don't have any doubt about that, and it'll be very yeah. quickly. It'll be very soon. I don't have any doubt about that, because you know it, it just 
you know, you're helping other people. I mean, when people get you on their show, they 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 don't have to worry. They'll have help. They'll be you'll well, you'll bring like, everything yeah. to it. Yeah. And you're great to work with. That's the other thing. I mean, they're a really talented people, but they're not they're not great. They're not fun to work I'm with. I'm fun to work with. You're a blast to work yeah, with. Yeah, I'm good to have around. I yeah. keep other people up. Yeah. You know, uh, every craft services, everybody. Like that's what I say. Like I really love being part of a TV family. Yeah. I love it. You know, it's it's uh, like what, Thanksgiving every day. What show? What, what show? What, what's a show? Like you, you, you have a regular. You, you're a regular on a show. What shows would it be? Is it a show that's on now? Well, right now I'm the cousin at Parks and Recreation, which is really fun. Okay. I'm their cousin. I show up twice a year. You know. Would. But uh, let's say the cousin moves in. Is that is that a show? Hey, if. If they want the cousin to come and stay with them, that would that would be absolutely amazing because that show is as as far as a comedy environment yeah. goes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's bliss. It's you like freedom. It. It's it's just it really really is. There's no egos. Hmm. It is all about comedy, and that's joyful. If you're making good comedy, it should be a joyful setting right and, and ev- it is over there it's and everybody joyful. everybody will they take will they let you do will they let you improvise a little bit all all the time yeah. all the time i love it amy will just say just keep the camera rolling and let mo do what she does really yeah that's great so that that feels really good to me you know it's like oh they're letting the cousin just talk well she has respect for you because she's she an does. improviser absolutely she right. knows amy right. poehler is an improviser oh my gosh you silly yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Are big you being time, silly? No, I don't. I don't know what her background was. She's she, SNL. I don't. I've never. I haven't watched that since Steve Martin. Was she could, she's from the same world as yeah. me. Yeah. Improv. Yeah, that's she's great. I mean, that's, that's, that's a good. That's she's great. an improviser. Yeah. So when she good. and I get together, it's you know crazy, right? Out. No, she's funny. I didn't yeah. know. I just didn't oh know what her background gosh, was. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Yeah. 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 No, we're we're cut from the same cloth. Hers is just silk right now, and mine is burlap. Okay, so there. But there you are. But there you are. <laughs> there I am. You have the TV, but you have. The, but there's a TV, there's a TV family. It's it was, not. It's not a mystery. Yeah, Fashion Week was just in Milan last week, it's and not. I saw some burlap on a couple of the ladies. It's not. It's the, listen. There's a burka sale. <laughs> there which is, is a burka coming. sale. Uh, but I mean, Fashion you, Week Iraq. But this, listen. They go in, and you know, they don't see a thing, <laughs> but they say. Good burlap, good burlap, good, good burlap. burlap. Are you buying that burlap? Yes, Cinch 40 yards of burlap. <laughs> 40, did, yards, yeah. 40 yards of burlap. That's All she needs buying. to do is belt that burka, and she is oh, good God. to go. Amazing what the world She's is. She's got stilettos on under there. Amazing. There's a whole world under that yeah. How burlap How do they sack. do it? Yeah. I don't know. How I don't do know. they do it? I don't know. I don't know how anybody Why does do anything. They do it? When we, well, they have when to. we, I mean, when you travel around the world, and I have not traveled enough around the world, it's just like you, the same perspective. I, it's the same perspective when somebody who's had a life-threatening illness, disease, yeah. and then you come back from it. Yeah. I don't know. You have that perspective now. Yeah. You look at you look at life in a different way. You, Completely. You've seen the other part. The other part. Yeah. You know, so. Um, but okay, so there's the family, so you really are there, and it, it isn't maybe it isn't that far to go to maybe you are a regular on that uh, maybe you are yeah, there all or the maybe, time. Maybe the cousin you know uh, builds a whole different f- house so, for the family. <laughs> Does that make any I sense? I have no clue. It could be the cousin's <laughs> house. All of a sudden, the cousin's is, house. Is another maybe that's place another place to, to go. <clears throat> it's another place to go. We're talking a spinoff here. Look at what Bob. Look at what Bob. This is code. This is exactly what I was. Are we talking yeah. code right now? There's no reason that uh, you know Joan Calamezzo. There's there's a world jo- around Joan. Joan Calamezzo. Calamezzo has a show. There, she has a. She show. She has a television show. Pawn yeah. it today. I know, I know. I get it. Why isn't that a show? These are great well, it is. Questions. It's on a show. No, but I mean, why is twice a year? Why isn't that a show? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's the show. Yeah, but that's a character. But you can't. You can't take that character from yes, the show. Yes, you could. The, the the creators could. Well, the creators could, but sure. if they didn't want to, and you wanted to do it yourself. Oh no, I can't do no, that. No, you can't no. do that. Do no. a different different kind. But I mean, who no. doesn't want to watch? Who doesn't want to watch that show and the and the and what goes on around that show? I think people would That's love to funny. learn more about that crazy. Well, I tell lady. you what, don't do what I did when I was when I was <laughs> I was on the King of Queens for for like five seasons, you know, recurred, and uh, I played Mr. Prusan. I played I played Leah Remini's boss at the law firm. Okay. And after a few seasons, 
I thought I felt comfortable enough oh, no. to call the creator of the show at his house. <laughs> yeah. And on, on Halloween, I'll never forget it, and go, hey, man. He's like, hey, who's this? Like, it's uh, Alex Scooby. He's like, oh, hey, what's going on? Like, what, what's going on? Like, <laughs> well, I, um, I have an idea. Like, what if we did a spinoff? <laughs> wow. Of my character. Because I had a great character on that show. I, I just did. Hands down, in my head. Yeah. So, and all he says is, yeah, um, not, I don't know. I don't think that's, I don't really do that anymore. And I'm, meanwhile, I'm like, really? Because you're the showrunner for this. and you could. But I had the balls to make this phone call. Oh, it's Halloween and you were dressed up as balls. <laughs> I was did dressed you, up as balls you say and that? I did it. But here's the deal. You should have said that. Oh, it's Halloween. It. This, but is, here's the this thing. didn't happen. I was trick or treating. This is the trick as, part. As yeah. Balls. Yeah. When I, when, but when I was younger, I had those balls. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. They were they weren't shorn and shaven, <laughs> and I just let them grow out. You know. Yeah. And I did that. Now I felt like a fucking moron when I got off the phone. Yeah. I was oh. like, oh my god, I Nightmare. can't believe I just did that. Yeah. But th- you know, I wasn't arrested. I mean, nothing yeah. bad happened. Sure. You know? I did two more seasons, so it's like, sure, whatever. But sure. It's kind of kind well, of wild. you never know. I mean, it's it's every show has a different, you know, a little bit. Of, it's a family structure, like you say, and uh, sometimes, uh, you know, it's just it is it is the best. I mean, I think there's two like am- amazing jobs. There's a few like really amazing jobs. One of them is being a regular on a good sitcom where people like each other. There's nothing like that. Yeah, that's yeah. a crazy job. Yeah, that's like you driving in through a gate. Angels are singing. Go to a parking yeah. space that has your name. You go to on a parking it. space with your name. You sit in the dressing room. There's room, an umbrella there. If it rains, yeah. there's a paper there, a newspaper there. There's a menu. You picked out your couch. You IKEA the fuck out of your room. It's crazy. <laughs> it yeah, but you can say the same really about drama crazy. though, because drums. I've had better. I've had better times uh, doing filming some dramas than I have a half hour. Oh, yeah. Some of the half hours I've done, I'm like, these guys are fucking all too serious, man. It was it was there it was the reverse. Like yeah. it, it was like the, the, the comedies I was doing more serious than the drums. See, the dramas they were goofing off and it was fun. But when the cameras rolled, you know, you settled yeah. and grounded. But it was the vice versa with the with the half hour, it was like they were all as serious and then, oh, then when yeah. the cameras rolled, they were like, hey, hey, hey. There's definitely like, oh. some like that. And it's like, oh weird. you guys, you're making Real comedy. Weird. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Real weird. Lighten up. This can't be this is not gonna be funny. No, it's hard yeah. to have funny. It's not going to yeah. be funny where there's a lot of tension and where you're yeah. scared. Uh, Fear yeah. and, and funny they can be and well. And trust, if you're you have to trust yeah. too. You want to trust your other players, yeah. you know. Well, now what what is what is something that you've done where you? I mean, it's just the time of your life. You're. Act, I assume for you, part of it is has got to be Mad TV. Oh, of I course. mean, part of it is Mad TV. Oh, of course. And you felt? Did you feel that all the way through the process? Pretty, Pretty much, much, yeah. I mean. Yeah, I mean, cripes. Uh, free to do whatever you free to do everything. Yeah, yeah. What do you want to do? Getting crazy. It's just, and then the audience is right there, and you're getting this immediate love of what you're doing, and they're fueling you even further with your comedy. Yeah. You know, it's just they're they're just craving it, and begging you go further, make us laugh harder, and you're like, oh yeah. Try this, you know. You throw some more funny at them, and they laugh harder. I mean, it's the same thing like doing stand up sure. too, where you're like, "Oh my gosh, they're loving it, and they're laughing." Oh, I'm gonna try and make you laugh harder. Mm-hmm. Take that, you know. Right, right. <laughs> it's it's like surfing waves. And then you you let it the surf go out a little bit so that they can catch their breath, and then you're like, "Here I come with another one," you know. Amazing rhythm, amazing timing. It's so fun. You know, you worked with a guy who. I had a little conversation with him, Bob Newhart. Yeah. And you work with Bob Newhart, and you did like a sketch for the ages. It, it's a it's, it's a, a piece sketch. for the ages. Okay. Very well Timing, written sketch. Yeah. Great job by you. Great job by him. Yeah. But you know what he said that was so fascinating? He said, "I he said I, I said are you you stutter or you stammer?" He said, "I stammer," and here's why: I'm building tension. And then when the audience releases, it's a bigger laugh. Yeah. I'm just hmm. building tension. Yep. That's all I'm doing. That's when you great. build tension purposefully, it it the audience gets tense, and then they have this release. Yeah. The more the tension, the more the release. Yes. And that's it. You yeah. have to. You can't. Because nobody can stay up on that laugh. You can't do it. Right. It does it physiologically. Just, it, you can't do it's it. It's a setup. But you bring it. It's like the swing set. 
you know you have to come back to get higher and higher and laugh harder and harder you've got to you've got to start smaller it's got to build like that until you're just that's it but to do it to that perfect i mean anything that's 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 good has those elements now eddie, yeah. eddie pepitone is a good friend oh, i work with him God, a lot he makes me laugh eddie pepitone is a genius oh, a funny dude. he yeah. makes me There's laugh funny hard. Dude. that said hard. he has a lot of different levels that he can do yes. and now he's doing them yeah see eddie's regular speaking voice his normal speaking voice he's a very soft spoken guy yeah. yeah he can go to that angry and loud and dramatic place anytime he well, wants you know i to. knew him from king of queens he was dating amy uh, stiller you're kidding yeah man his, his 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 uh, jerry you know was on the show and and Eddie used to come by. I used to see Eddie there quite frequently, actually. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he's. A, I knew him. He, that was years ago. We're talking like fifty. Now years we've ago. seen him when we go to coffee. Yeah, he goes to the coffee place we go to. Well, right? he's about. He, I think he's one of the best. He, he, he's my favorite actor who's a stand-up. Yeah, he's yeah. brilliant. He's a great actor. Yeah. And you know, I never saw his stand-up until we went uh, to that Hollywood Improv or what was it called, the Improv? Where, yeah. Where the places. Yeah. yeah, and that's the first time I saw him, and this was like maybe six, seven months ago. So. She's probably over a year now, to no, tell you the truth. No, come on, really? Yeah, they are. Shit. Well, Eddie, anyway, I yeah. laughed my ass off. Well, Eddie's very unique because he yeah. he he really, he has great written material, yeah. yeah. and he lets himself improvise. Yeah. And, yep. the, and when he does that, it's crazy. I mean, yeah. he's well, really hitting his stride now. That's, that's the great. best way because, again, you don't know what the room, you don't, you don't get some sort of itinerary, you know, the bi- bios on who the audience is. Right. You don't know who you're playing to. You don't know how, what their mood is that day. You know, you you have to be in the moment. You have mm. to ride the room. Did you ever have a time where you were working with somebody, and you just got no- you got so nothing that almost it almost became comedic, where it was such a you keep trying to improvise, and they're like denying everything to the point where. Oh, you can't like move. in an improv scene? I see that scene? a lot at Improv, improv oh, Olympic. Yeah. I see that all the time. I've, I watch it and I'm like... Well, that happens everywhere. Yeah. I've, I've, of course, I've... Ever ever <laughs> happened on TV or in a, in, a, in, a, in a bigger way? Probably not. TV, I, I mean, personally, I've always gotten, you know, stuff, you know. I've never, I've never looked at another actor while doing... No, that's not true, actually. <laughs> they always... Yeah. That is not true. That is or not audition true. or a I, note. I from can't somebody. think specifically right now, but yes. Have you gotten I, a note from somebody? Or a note from somebody that's like, you can't even. You oh, can't, you, you I, can't okay. do anything but laugh. Right? Here, you mean here, like a director my, giving you a note? Here's director, my favorite yeah. note that I ever got yeah. on set, and it was a, a sitcom, and uh, it was from the star of the show, um, who, who, and I, I'm not going to. Oh, say, I know. You're I'm not going to say yeah. his name. He, w- the show was about him. Uh, like trying to give every part of it. <laughs> yeah. It's a male, uh, male pattern baldness happening. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, we're sitting at a table. His brother was a huge celebrity. Huge celebrity. Yeah. And he, in between. <laughs> game. Yeah. In the between, show was on ABC, I think. Was it ABC? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, they're not on anymore. No, they got canceled. Hmm. It was a shitbag well, show. Well, nobody was watching. Anyway, the note that I got. Must have given you the blues. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Brother, um, does that give you the blues? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, okay. according to this guy, um, what he said to me during the se- after the camera went off, I did the line. He goes, "Don't don't say it funny. That's, Do- hey, don't say that's it, comedy. Don't say it. Don't, <laughs> don't say it. Funny. Don't don't be funny." I'm like, "Excuse me? Yeah, don't be funny. Just say it." I'm like. I, I just wanted to say, well, I I can't help but be funny, so you should fire me right now. Which he waited till afterwards to do that, but um, wow. and he, yeah, uh, but yeah, I, I just wanted to say, well, anything next to you that I say <laughs> is going to be funny. So I guess I should say the same thing to you. You be funny, and then I won't have to be. How about that? I gotta tell I gotta t- I gotta tell you this story real quick. I was I was guest starring on this drama and I god I don't wanna say his name so bad but I'm not I'm not gonna say it, but uh it, I'll i I'll say this. It is a it was a CSI spin off. So <laughs> I'm guest starring. These are I'm, fun guessing these games. Guessing. On I love this. So this, this is, is going to be our new segment. So, but I'm not, I'm not going to say his name. You can't hold me to it. So I, <laughs> I, I, I get there. Where it's like 5:30 in the morning. 
and I'm doing this scene where I'm literally, I'm like a construction guy, and I'm coming up to him because he, he and I and I gotta tell him that look, I don't know what happened, and I can't give away too much because then you'll know what I'm talking about. But all I do is that the camera's on me. No, the camera was on him. The camera was on him for the first shot. And I walk up and I'm giving him all the stuff that I'm, you know, giving him for the scene as this character I'm playing. And he stands up. Now, this is him doing his scene. Yeah. And he just takes his sunglasses off. Oh, Jesus. And he looks at me. And I'm literally in my head going, oh, my God, this is horrible. <laughs> is he really doing this? Is he going to, this is how he does it? Yeah. <laughs> And I and I can't I can't go into it anymore. But I'll tell you this: I wanted to give him a note, <laughs> but I did not do it. But we did so many takes on him that I could not believe that he has a show on TV. Oh no, not that just makes, a show. Yeah, I know. Oh, well, it's not just a show. Yeah. yeah, on TV, and this is what he does. Well, you're talking as an actor now. Yeah. yeah, I'm and talking as an actor being. in a scene with him. Yeah, in the scene going, I can't believe. I don't believe. First of all, yeah, I don't believe anything you're saying. America loves it, I guess. Well, they get the thing with that the glasses. Duck Dynasty is the number if one show, so you if know. If you're a man who wears glasses and yeah. then you take the glasses off mm-hmm. and cock your head to the side, that's correct. You know that something's coming. Tension. America. We're going back to Bob Newhart. That's right. America knows that something's coming. Tension. Now, he's doing it seriously. Yes. It's a comedy. (laughs) It's the best best comedic detective on time. I I know. Oh, you know who I'm talking about. Without par. (laughs) No. The best comedic. In fact, I I wrote something about that. that What a great. There's Cluzo. There's the other guy. And then there's something that rhymes with that. Yeah. There's Cluzo. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I get it. And yeah, 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 that. yeah, exactly. <laughs> here, here was here was something that one of the one of the people on the show told me that this person said. He said, "When I have the glasses on, I'm Clark Kent. When I take them off, I'm Superman." I swear, I swear, straight up, that was told to me during lunch while we're shooting, and I went, "I don't ever want you to say anything like that to me again." That is the worst <laughs> thing I've ever heard. It is, it is, it is horrifying. The things you're saying in the world. I'm trying to eat this salmon steak. <laughs> right. This is good salmon, and you're making it into bad fish. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Well, it's, it's interesting. You know, I mean, even great actors, you know, I mean, who's the greatest actor? I mean, if Brando was the greatest actor, and his I, later... I, I, yeah, if, maybe, if, he, yeah, if he was a great yeah, actor, if he was in Streetcar, and you saw him, a young Brando on stage doing Streetcar, yeah. it'd be amazing. Yeah. If you see a Brando from hmm. years later... Yes sitting in a scene, I forget what the movie was, and he's actually doesn't know his lines and is peeing in a bucket under the table. Yeah. And and then the editor cuts around all the crap and makes him look like a genius. Yeah. Well, he used he's to got write one his, good take yeah, that's on all 70. He Dude, he used to write his... Right. Uh, they, he used to have people write his dialogue in big letters on walls. Right. That's what the, he'd have them write. Like, if the camera's facing here, I'm him... The, on the walls over there in big letters would be my dialogue. Yeah. That was his big thing. Well, it's yeah. it's amazing what people get. I don't know. I don't know. But, but Everyone has their little tricks. Sure. I mean, not saying peeing under a table while you're doing a scene is a trick sure. for acting. Sure. But there's there's stuff. You know what I like mean? Like, what, what is something that you've... I mean, being in, in dramas... Yeah. I keep, my, I, keep, I keep my sides on my lap. I'm dead serious. Like, if I'm, if, if I'm, at a, if I'm doing a scene where I'm sitting at a table... And I learned this from an actor years ago. And the first thing I did, I saw, I saw him because he had a lot of dialogue in the show I did years and years ago. And it was one of my first times. I was real nervous. You know, it was my first time on camera. And I noticed that he was on the other side of the table in this scene. And I noticed that he had his, you know, the little sides. How sure. you get the little sides? Sure. He had them on his lap. And we'd be sitting there talking and he'd have his hands here. And then he'd like look down. Even when the camera's pointed at him, he'd like look down, make it look like he was thinking. He'd come up with his dialogue. And I was like, that is genius. So I've done it a few times where I will, you know, if the camera's here, you know, pointing in a certain angle and, I, and I'm having a hard time with my dialogue, I'll have a, you know, I'll put it somewhere where I can just kind of, you know, glance down and I'm thinking then here's my line. <laughs> you know what I mean? Isn't Why it, not? People do all... all isn't, it, isn't it interesting that, again, with the timing thing, mm-hmm. there's a real, like, when you pause, people think you're a genius. 
Mm-hmm. They just think something's going on. Yeah. They don't know what's going on, no, but it's, it's like, it's, oh my God, he's pausing. Sometimes you're searching for your line. Well, well, yes, that is a, most of the time. Look That's for me. Watch Spen- you ever watch Spencer Tracy? Watch Spen- Spencer Tracy. Yeah. Watch him put his hands behind his back and walk. Yeah. He has this Spencer Tracy thing that yeah. he does. You know what he's doing? He's looking for his mark. Doesn't Seeking know where he mark. is. Oh Doesn't my know God. where he is. Oh, yeah. And he makes it look like he's thinking, yeah. Yeah. and he's thoughtful, and he's going to come up with something. He does it almost in every movie. <laughs> and it was yeah. a known thing. Well, you know what's funny, yeah, man? Yeah, I've like, done that, yeah. No, I what just want to say you, this, is like, when, you know, when I first started out in the business, one of my biggest problems was um, hitting the marks, technically. You know, to technically be there, and you got to stand there where you put some side. And after a while, I just learned, look down. Just look down. It doesn't matter. Yeah. If you, if I have to walk a flight of stairs and land right in front of that door and hit the perfect mark, you bet your ass that when I come up those stairs and I'm walking towards this door, I'm going to look down at least once. Well, you're also thinking, the way it is. You're man. also thinking like I think of James Dean and I think of the things yeah. where, for some reason, people think you know you get scared and you think there's a lot of at stake here. Yes. And I can't no. be a person. Yeah, <laughs> I can't be. I can't be real. I can't, can't be, be human. Real. Yeah. yeah, which is the opposite of everything that you're well, supposed to be. So you just be. make it easy yeah. on yourself. You could be more real if you're more relaxed. Yeah, do you know what I mean? You so, would look down if you didn't know where you were. Exactly. You might. Yeah. You might. What you might? What do you? What do you do, Mo? What are well, tricks? Sometimes. Well, you're a good, you're such a good. You have the tool belt of the improviser. So you're definitely. There's nothing that can, like you can't die. No. Because you'll you'll know what to it. do. Oh, I'll find it. Right. Yeah. So there's that safety of yeah. I, I love when something goes wrong, wrong. That's the, the opportunity because that's opportunity. Right. Absolutely. Somebody else messes up their line, and I'm right there with something else. Dig it. Have you? I imagine all you've the done that all, all a lot. All the time. Every time. Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. I love that. It's you love like, that because part of it is that it buffers um, them too. Sure. You know. Yeah. And just. Yeah. And sometimes we can actually get through it. Without stopping, depending, you know what I mean. You just, I'll patch it as we go along. Now, if you're a get, if you're a guest star on a show, mm-hmm. and something goes awry, mm-hmm. you'll do it. I do some patchwork along the way if I have to. And people, know, but but when people hire you now, they know that you'll do that. The two people that hire me a year know that. Okay, but the problem is here, sis, with with <laughs> the two people. The problem is here is that when you do drama, they don't want you doing that. No. There's no improv right. in drama. Exactly. Right. You stick to the lines. And if you mess up a line, stop, cut, start over again. Right. There's no, you don't, you can't, you know, be giving a speech in a drama and then start improvising. Right. Uh, no, you, of course not. You know what not. I mean? Different but tone, different right. tone, different, different tack. Yeah. No, but there can be um, paraphrasing oh, well, to I've get definitely- through a take. I've more paraphrased more, the hell out of shit. Exactly, which <laughs> I, I can paraphrase, which is improv yeah. anyway. It's But as long as you're staying within the intention of a scene, right? right? I but think a director would much rather still see the scene come to fruition than stop and start over and waste tape. Right. But even in half-hour comedy, though, even in the half-hour comedies I've done, I wasn't, I mean, they wanted, you know, these are the lines. More, yeah, more in, in uh, multi-cam, yeah, multi-cam, it is. Multi-cam, yeah, it's very strict. There's, I mean, no, there's no the, well, the new room. The new improv world is is single camera. Well, yeah, that's, yeah, your Parks and Rec it, and stuff is different. Exactly. Man. It's a totally yeah, different like, vibe. That's yeah. cool, man. And when working with, working in 40-Year-Old Virgin and, and working with... That was with, all improv. So Judd Je, Apatow says what? He says, all right, we're going to do Apatow this thing told me to, here we go. I had read for the part that Jane Lynch got, but he could see that I was uh, good at improv, so he said, you know, we're doing the speed dating scene. Why don't you show up? Don't know what we want you to play. Um, so I don't know, just bring some clothes. I'm like, all right. So I showed up, and all the speed daters. I still I didn't know what I was gonna do. Um, had to write a name on a name tag, so I just wrote Gina. And um, honestly, uh, what happened was um, they're like, okay, Mo, why don't you come in and we'll do one with you? And I'm like, all right. He. Steve Carell says, uh, your name is Gina, and I said, and that's in that instant, it was, Gina, what's up? And I thought they were going to cut the cameras and, and send me home. Because I didn't know, <laughs> I, I, and I just kept, 
like, well, we're still, the camera's still going, and now I'm a lesbian, and we're just going to keep going with this. Okay? And I was just digging myself in when I'm talking about tucking your, your nuts, your, your balls back, throw a little rouge on, all this stuff. I was just like, I kept going, and Steve Carell, whom I, I knew him prior to this, so, you know, we, we had a friendly relationship, because uh, I've known his wife from back in Minnesota. But I'm like, wow, I'm really in deep now. I'm really in deep. I'm, I've talked about his nuts. I've talked, you know, I'm a lesbian. I'm, I'm dipping into the heterosexual world as my character. And they're gonna, fi- they're gonna fire me as soon as this take is over. They're being polite now and the ca- as the camera is rolling. That's all that's happening. Yeah. This is like all going on while you're doing the scene. In my head, this Isn't is the other. Thing? You, can do, you can be saying one no, thing and real. thinking the exact other. Oh, I, I, I couldn't believe after I said, Gina, what's up? They, they didn't go, okay, cut. <laughs> That's funny, Mo. Let's start again. But it kept going, and I'm like, I just dug deeper and deeper into uh, Gina. Fantastic. Got done. The place blew up with laughter. And, uh, and I was like, well, okay, I guess... I guess that's my character. And then everybody, all the characters wanted to improvise with Gina, which is what happened then. Because, you know, all the lead characters then I sat down and saw in the extras, you know, uh, of the DVD. Uh, they all took a, a turn with Gina, <laughs> you know. That makes and me feel weird. I got my $300 and went home. Oh, <laughs> my God 300 almighty. bucks. God almighty. Scumbags. Unbelievable. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, but no, that was... That was great. There wasn't even a character. So, yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's fantastic. Well, that well, that's yeah, great. That was and I, I saw you do something, you know, that show Fat Actress. That was improv, too. Was a... That could have been... I mean, I really liked that show. What's Fat Actress? That was uh, Kirstie, Kirstie Alley's show. Kirstie Alley had this no, show, fun. and it was... You did something... I it was like a, my series... I was getting a lot of work as a lesbian then. It was kind of like... You know, it's funny. I really did. I really yeah. did. It's like Gina, and I think it's because I, they like this sort of authentic lesbian voice or something. I don't know why this is like the authentic lesbian <laughs> voice. That's but, how my sister's wife talks. But that is, it's exactly, you just throw a little bit of this <laughs> in there, and somehow it's... it's uh, Somehow it becomes... It the, somehow it becomes... It's like a whistle with the S's. You know, plus I'm tall, so they don't know what to do with that. <laughs> uh, so it's like my name is Mo, so it all wow. kind of comes cyclical. But uh, yeah, there was another one. Another, I believe, I think that was another lesbian character. Right? Yeah, you, it was a jail. Cop, so a jail, yeah. In jail. I had to oh, well, there, that flirt makes sense. Well, now, now the best to me, you know, there are all these jobs, all these things are great. Doing voice acting for an yeah. animated series or feature. Yeah, I can't think of a better job. Really I don't know what I don't know what a better job would be. I just finished a, a, a video game. I just finished it yesterday. Yeah. I don't know what I don't know when there's yeah. a better job. Well, you have a voice. I mean, your yeah. voice is like if you you can yeah. say you can say it's 98 degrees and people yeah. will be excited. Well, I'm the voice of uh, I'm the voice of Goodyear tires, man. I do all their TV commercials and everything. Yeah, it's give me great. give me a good. Would would it be like? And what do they say? Do do, now, do, do, do they that? say no, to you? Understand. Do they say you to you things I've, like? I mean, do you well, it's get, just get... me. I mean, talking, and then you know, but with a little more passion and stuff. And at the end of all the spots, I say, "Good year, more driven." <laughs> <laughs> that's it, and that's and I do all the spots. I got that campaign uh, in January. Great work. Yeah, it's the best. Thing I did in the world. Porsche, uh, Ace Hardware, uh, Goodyear, and then what's the other one? Oh, National Car Rental. But it's, not not some. I just did one for them, and then. Uh, but you do you do this where you get this this kind of role, and you say those words, you yeah. walk out, and a check comes in the mail. Well, a lot of checks can come in the mail depending on. What you, you know, it could be a I weekly thing. I mean, it's amazing. Thing. It is absolutely amazing, but it's hard to get into. Yeah, I have a lot of friends, a lot of act, a lot of talented actor friends that can't get voice agents. They just not. You know, I hooked up with her agent because she was like, "You got to get a voice agent." I'm like, nah, "I don't know, and I don't want to do that." And she's yeah, like, "You like, got to do kidding? it." You can't. So I then did. Get out. Yeah, then get out. That's what she was like. <laughs> you don't walk around the house with that kind of voice, and you're not going to do anything. And then get out. Yeah, exactly. I'll have none of it. I tell you, get out right now and take that pretty voice with you. That's, exa- that's exactly <laughs> what she said. None of it. I tell you what, I'm getting on the horn right now, and I'm getting you an agent. That's what I'm going to do. Hi, Pat. It's Maureen. <laughs> Say, I've got this fella. Oh, he's got some pipes on him, he does. 
See, that's what we need. Yeah. We need to do that. Let's yeah. do that. Let's do that. Let's do that radio show. <laughs> that radio show. That's the radio show. There it is. Right there. Right in front of us. Ooh, and you everybody talks like, to you. Like someone. And, and you oh, have, actually, you know what? That's you a, sound like. You sound like that. Who is that? It's a little old school actress. Yeah, well, it's yeah, but not that, uh, not shaky. It's not shaky. It's very clear. It's a younger. Well, it's almost honeymooners. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. It's a little Alice. Oh, yeah, like. I it. yeah. It's a little. Yeah. Alice. Oh no, no, we're gonna do. We gotta do something with that. No, I, I've got. Some, I've got something for that. Honest to God, there's something. <laughs> yeah. Me and Eddie Well, that's Peppertone, what I do. A children's. Uh, I do a, a children's um, cartoon for Disney. Yeah. Which should actually premiere this fall. I hope they pick I, it up. God, for two, I hope man. they do I because hope I, go back to work. I I did that last year, which was great because we did. 22 episodes or 25 yeah. or something yeah. and and What's i started i got sheriff Callie. sheriff Callie. yeah i got cast as a cow mm-hmm. and this is for little kids yeah you know which is yeah dreamy right yeah. like just crazy voices yeah. and i'm playing all these animals you know yeah. what's the do you remember but this anything? one now this she's a crane you know she and she works for the newspaper yeah, yeah but she's a crane on the show <laughs> you know <laughs> but it's so fun because i just they're like, oh, here's, can you try something for this character now? Do you have anything? And, and this is pulling right out of my, my sketch improv background. Sure, sure. But I don't have to look like it. No, I know. It's, oh, fa- it's, it's the and best. And I can be in my pajamas. It's the be- it, there isn't a better job in the If it's you're great. a regular on, a, on an animated series, yeah. you can't lose. It's you know? so There's fun. no losing. Is so great. I can, you know, show up with the worst of side effects because, like, in the morning I have real bad edema, the eyes a lot. Yeah. And it doesn't matter when I go and do a, a cartoon. I do my Goodyear spots in a thong half shirt and, like, Michael, Michael Jordan, like, high tops. This is true. It's fantastic. <laughs> no one knows. You know well, I, mean? I do. <laughs> Running around <laughs> looking like that. Well, you're, well, you, you know, what does the crane say? Well, the crane says... <laughs> <laughs> put an eye out with that thong and it's mine I tell you it's my eye <laughs> the crane starts craning no it's it's uh, it's fantastic I mean I love the weirder the voice the better I the better I like one time I got called in to do Maya Angelou for you did I did Maya Angelou I did can we hear that? a little Who's it's Maya? not good it's not that good Maya Angelou was a my great grandmother <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's kind of like it was, the it was it was like cranberry cranberry oh, so <laughs> and my great grandfather was <laughs> oh my god it's I, so fun isn't it it's the most fun well, that's you why we used to remember we used to play with Maisie my character Ma- I always we, told you that Maisie because I know but I, I can't play physically play right but Maisie. a voice Right. Could be great. Exactly. And lights just went out when we started talking about it. I don't amazing. know what happened. It's oh. a power outage. It's my, and it's on. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, Ma. Law. Sorry, Ma. That is law. <laughs> Maisie is very wise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Now, what? Now, Miss Maisie, let me just ask you mm-hmm. one thing. Now, you, uh, so, so you're, you're in the church now. I am always so far up in the church. Oh and, my you, God. and what do you now, Miss Maisie? Now okay. well, you 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 help the pastor, and I understand you're oh, quite a fundraiser. Well, the pastor he helped me. All I have to do is show up. Okay, he do the walking, and I follow. Mm-hmm. Now, how long have you been going to this church? All my life. Oh, all, all my life. I know it's not polite to ask a woman how what her you age is. You can ask me anything. It's all the answers are all. All in front of you, anyway. That's true, Miss Maisie. That is true. Now, mm-hmm. now Miss Maisie, do mm-hmm. you watch television? Do you have time? Because you're very involved well, with the church. I enjoy. I do enjoy some good daytime television. Daytime? Okay. What would be something? I that would, the price is always right around my house. You know. <laughs> now, the, the showcase price. showdown, does that showcase have particular? Showcase showdown, pick a number, you know. Pick up the curtain. Because that is all what it is all about in life. And you always got to choose one door mm-hmm, and walk through. Walk through. But you got to choose. Mm-hmm. Even if you're a Price is Right model, oh, I assume you would have to walk yeah, through. 
Well. Now, now, Miss Maisie, let me ask you mm. a question. Now, is Drew Carey, is he a, do you miss Bob Barker? Because no. I'm sure that you've seen Bob, Bob quite a bit. Bob Barker will all, always live on. In, okay, inside my heart, you know. He, he's behind the man anyway all the time. Yeah. Drew Carey all up on the stage, but you know, it, that ain't all okay. What would the question? Yeah, exactly. Now, when I think we should move on. Now, Miss Maisie, okay. now there's a show on now there's a old that's, show. Ca- that's called Breaking Bad. Oh, no. I know you don't watch that no, show. No, no, ain't no, mm-mm. No, mm-mm. ain't gonna be no, no, I ain't gonna watch nothing about no breaking, no bad. Ain't gonna let that crack into my system, okay? Because I got God's shell. I am in God's shell, and I don't want the crack, the crackle coming on in. You don't want the crack to open or the, come on in. My shell. That the crack I don't might want come in. Crack my shell. Oh, the crack would come in and crack your and shell. The light of the bad, tearing out, pushing in the darkness. Yeah. Mm-mm. Be very difficult for difficult. you. Difficult. You. <laughs> <laughs> now the la- now the last thing I have to ask you've okay. worked you've rehabilitated you've helped to rehabilitate some people through the church. God, hey, ha- God, faith rehabilitated myself. Did you have? I had nothing to do with it. I walk, I walk with it, and it walks with me, Would and it have- rehabilitates. Were you ever married, Miss Maisie? I don't believe that I knew uh, your husband. Well, no, no, he gone. Mm. Mm. Where did he go? Yeah, that's a good question. Good question. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to answer it on our next okay. show. Okay, <laughs> well, you get some answers, you know. Yeah. Okay. Miss mm. Maisie, I can't thank you enough. Mm, and you I can't, but there ain't no need. Okay, I'm already thanked because I'm blessed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, well, now I know you have your own line of preserves now. It, it, all up uh, in the jar. Uh, <laughs> and I know that you do it for the church. It's to raise money. Can you tell us a little bit? I don't, want, I don't, I don't mean like a commercial, but if you were to advertise it well, and tell okay. people about your jam, yeah, preserves, okay. what would it be? Okay, yeah. well, I got own okay, I got a, you got to get your, you know, your big, big tomatoes, don't, you know, and you put them in a jar. And the peppers, <laughs> too. Because you got to mix up your vegetables. Don't do one. No, mix it up, because life is all about the mixing it up and putting them together and letting the juices flow with it. <laughs> you know? I think that's a great uh, advertisement, advertisement because... Well, I do thank you, Mr. Krasnick. Well, it's always a pleasure to talk always to you. Always a pleasure. Be- oh, man. Oh, man. You do know that I'm a Jew. I do not know that. <laughs> now that you know it, has it changed your... No. You, we're all you, God's children. We're all walking. We're all walking the same path. Okay, we come from the same crack in the light, and we're all heading back. We're on the same path, and the river flow with it, you know. <laughs> thank you, Miss Macy. No, thank you, Krasnick Jew. <laughs> <laughs> that was wild. No, I'm going to tell you something. Miss Maisie smells like Jägermeister and botulism. Oh, That's what no. she smells like. I'm That's gonna what tell I you got something. from that character. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you oh. something. That we're doing, we're doing something with that. She's that you don't have to do anything. You just, you just will send tapes. You can do it in your house. She's a lovely. You record, you know I'm going to send you questions. I love Maisie. I'm sending, I love you, Maisie. I'm sending you questions. You answer as her. Okay. That's all you got to do. Yeah, I you love Maisie. It, send me a file back. She's Honestly, all good. God, it's so easy. This is so easy. She's all good. Miss Maisie is like my favorite, like is my favorite character I've ever heard. Yeah. She's true spirit. She's true spirit. And what she says actually yeah. makes sense. Well, I know. In some ways, it's like <laughs> Maisie is a, a way of makes, makes it okay for me to say some things that I actually believe are true. Right. That you might not say otherwise. Sure. Right. I got it. It takes Maisie to say them for me. I got it. Yeah. I love it. 
I, I'm not kidding. I'll, I'm going to do a few That's, questions. I like that. Yeah. And I just send it to you. And then you record a file. Like yeah, an MP3. Yeah. Send record. it back to me. You can do it on your phone. Yeah, we, we have we have, we the, have the snowball. snowball. We have a garage okay. You got a snowball. Store. You're fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then you give me send me a wave or an MP3. Absolutely. I'm gonna put these things together. We're gonna have Miss Maisie. Love it. It's gonna be a segment. It'll be a thing. People will hear it. They yeah. will go nuts. Love it. Because it's because it's the, there is a part of it that's very real. I oh, know. Yeah. And it's great. Yeah. yeah. You talk about timing when you do that character. <laughs> you're opposite the crane, opposite the one that you were doing before. Yeah. Miss Maisie can't be slow enough. Yeah. yeah. The, the slower yeah. she is, the better she is. Yeah. Oh, it's great. If she's slow and she, and I love, you know what I love too? I love that she repeats everything that you say. She'll repeat like the last word that she heard. Yeah. And then fill in. Not I think just that's the, her remembering no, what your question also, was. Oh, it's also so you can hear what you just said to <clears throat> me. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what you're saying to me? You right? know what you just right? said. Oh, I love mm. that. I, you know, boy, I, you know, if you could animate that. We talked about that one time, and what did we say? Or we even That'd had just like a, um, we had uh, her in a rocking a chair. Rocking chair. I think I told you. Head. Rocking no, chair you didn't. Porch. That just came but, to my but head. But we just, you know, we, we had, uh, you would not see me. Right, you wouldn't see your face. But no. you would see, you know, like uh, nylons and the shoes the feet, and the, the, the dress legs. or whatever. Yeah. And do the talking from there. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a live. I think you do that live. Yeah. And you could certainly film that. But I, right. I'm I talk, like animated. I I'm talking to this. An, I'm talking to this, this animator, and if I can, if I can start working, that, with that her, would work good. I, I huh? would, I would have her draw it because because it is really slow, and that is what makes it. It's it is. It's all the nuance yeah. of her. It's not just yeah. There's there's a lot of nuance to her that. Tremendous. I, no, we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna, I, I swear to God, I'm going to do this. And I know, I know this, is, this is still the self-help comedy hour with Ed Krasnick. You know, you, you really, there's a lot. I just want to say before, before we go, is there anything, and I would almost do it as Miss Maisie, but no. <laughs> is there anything that you would say to people who are experiencing uh, an illness who may have dealt with or are dealing with with cancer or dealing with some kind of a thing, is there any advice or anything that you, anything that you could that you could share? I mean, it's kind of putting you on the spot in a way, but you've really, you know, I I sat opposite yeah. you like a couple of year, a few years ago, a couple of years ago, and you were, you were just getting into it then. Yeah. And you have come out on the other side of it. Yeah. So. Um, you know, I it it stay above it, stay above it. Don't believe in it. Deny it <laughs> to some degree. Um, there, don't take no for an answer. Uh, you know, it's like yeah. there's a there's a million ways that our body can heal itself too. Seek them out. You know, knowledge is power. Don't ever feel alone in your disease. There is always, always some support group somewhere. Get online. Seek those people out. Talk to them. Compare notes. Cause you know, it's looking in the mirror. You got to find those people. You have to have support it's great to have your family and friends too but it's really important too to find people that are going through the same thing you're doing you're going through yeah so you can get real nitty-gritty with your questions real yeah. specific you know and they'll understand what you're talking about yeah you know it's yeah. it's important and then learn those things but tr- find stuff to do stay purposeful if you can it's the hardest thing sometimes but don't it's hard to keep it from being the first thing in front of your face, but you gotta, you gotta put it in the back because you gotta keep living. You and gotta, you gotta stay <clears throat> ahead of it. And the thing that I, uh, I never forgot from that night, is it's not you. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's not you. It's a, it's a cell. You, you can diminutize. Right. It. Make it small. You know what I mean? It's like it's a cell. It's like, right. You know, be f- uh, <clears throat> going through the shrinking process with the tourists. Like I. I physically, sh- mentally shrink it before the surgery. You know, I was, um, every time I got on the elliptical in the morning, I would do the surgery. I would mentally do the surgery to this song. And I would see through from cutting me open, <laughs> all this stuff. And I am- saw it through the way I wanted it to happen, how the outcome I wanted. And it ended with the two surgeons high-fiving. Um, now, I don't know if they did that, but we got the outcome that I kept meditating on and and visualized you know 
Um, we got the good one. I wonder if they did high five. I should ask them. I don't know. But this, but this is all. This all worked. You were active in the process of healing. Active in healing. Yeah. That's exactly it. It's right. important to stay active in healing. Right. Laughter. All those things. Laughter's big. It's important. You know, it's why I want to do more and more of it because it's good for me. It's yeah. also good for other people. Yeah. Because I read all about the physiological, <laughs> chemical change to our body when we laugh. When we laugh. Yeah. Now I can't recant exactly what that is right here, right now. But mm. I read it and I went, "Oh my God, yeah. that's math." Yeah. Com- comedy's got some math to it. Yeah. Now, I've never been good at math, but I've been good at comedy. Yeah. So it's like, wow, <clears throat> you can change your chemical self by laughing. That's huge. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely right. And, you know, for those of you who really want to laugh, watch, look for Mo Collins. Uh, and for those of you who really want to be riveted <laughs> and not... <laughs> Uh, watching a man take his sunglasses off. <laughs> Watch Alex Scooby. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, wow. pleasure. Always great us, talking to you. It's so nice to see you. And uh, I can't get off this uh, chair right now. But uh, <laughs> <clears throat> but this is the Self Help Comedy Hour with Ed Krasnick. Next week, another uh, great show. We're heard each and every week on Wrecking Ball Radio uh, every Thursday and Sunday night. Uh, keep coming back. It works if you work it. I'm Ed Krasnick. Have a great week.